What's up guys? Dr. Doll here. Welcome to another video. And uh, in this video, we are going to be opening up and reviewing a Journey Girl doll. So I don't honestly know very much about Journey Girls. Um, I looked up online just to kind of get a little bit of backstory. And my understanding is that they came out around the same time that um, our generation came out um, and a lot of other like cheaper alternatives to American Girl doll. The 90s was basically, especially the late 90s, was like sort of the heyday for 18 inch dolls because um, at least like plastic vinyl dolls, because that's when that was like the height of popularity for American Girl. Um, and so like everyone was jumping on board, like every possible retailer was like, we want in on this. And they were designing their own, you know, 18 inch dolls. Um, so you had our generation, you had um, the Madame Alexander, you had um, Journey Girls, um, you had, um, I recently learned about, oh, you had the FCM dolls, you had the King State dolls, which I just found out about. Um, but this was Toys R Us, Toys R Us's, Toys R Us, their, uh, 18 inch line of dolls that they came out with. Um, and then when they went bankrupt recently, um, I guess they s gave the rights to Amazon to manufacture and sell these. So now you can, you can still buy them and I think you can buy them on Walmart too. Like there's a couple places you can buy them, but like Amazon holds all the rights, I guess. Um, that's my understanding. Like it's really hard actually to find out a lot of like backstory and history and information on a lot of these dolls because at least just from, you know, Google searching, um, people are pretty tight lipped about doll stuff, which is interesting. But anyways, what I was able to gather was that this has been around at least, you know, since that time period, the late 90s. It was sort of Toys R Us's um, response to the height of popularity of the American Girl dolls. Um, and I know that they are 18 inches. I know that they're similar in a lot of ways to American Girl dolls, but that they are proportionally different. Like, I think they have larger heads um, and smaller torsos. So I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure. I'm very unfamiliar with this. Like, I was unfamiliar with My Life dolls. I've got my My Life doll back here. Oh, she's pantsless. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry, sweetheart. We'll need to blur that, censor that. Um, so, but I'm even less familiar with the Journey Girls than I was with my life. So I, I really don't know much about them other than what I just told you. So this is the box that came in that showed up on my front door, which I think is really cute. Like, I don't know if there's a, a another box, like a doll box inside of this box, but this is a cute little shipping box. Um, I think it, it creates sort of a sense of excitement, you know, for perhaps like if, if a, a child was waiting for their doll and they found this box on the doorstep, I think that would be exciting, you know. I'm really big on the experience of things. Um, I like for an, a shopping you know, the experience of buying an item is just as important as the item itself to me. Now, that's not true for everyone. Some people, you know, just want a good deal and that's what they like. For me, I really like to have a good experience. Like we, I, w I was really wanting to buy a truck like a year or two ago and we went to this car dealership where they like completely ignored me <laughs> and I'm like I don't like it was a good truck too but I'm like I don't want to buy here like just wasn't a good experience it just kind of ruined it for me so that's just kind of the buyer that I am you know so I appreciate good packaging 
I appreciate all those little details. I know that it's not a big deal to everyone, but it is to me. Okay, okay there is a separate doll box, which I thought there would be. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so there's not a bottom and there's not a top, but I guess you could call this a doll box. I really like this little window um, sort of placement. I think that's really cute. So I ended up getting Siobhan. There's, there's a handful of them, but she, to me, just, I thought she was the prettiest. So she just kind of stood out to me. So she is the one that I bought. So Siobhan is a musician and performer. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I just picked her because I thought she was the prettiest, but She's a musician too. So see, we were meant to be. Um, Siobhan is a showstopper. She has a flair for dramatic and incredible musical talent that makes everyone stop and watch. Her vibrant personality radiates confidence and poise. Oh, okay. I knew there was a reason I liked you. Oh, okay, wow. What a cute outfit. I am very pleasantly surprised by this outfit. Look at those rain boots. Those are adorable. Um, all right, well, let's get her out. So she was 34, it's like 34.98, something like that. And of course I have Amazon Prime, so it was free shipping. Um, so the most expensive My Life dolls that I saw were $34 as well. So quality-wise, if we're just sort of basing them all on the same scale, I'm expecting these to be just a tiny bit better quality than the My Life dolls, um, at least the one that I got. Okay, so her eyes are fixed. I can already tell. So they're not sleep eyes. They don't close um, and open, which, you know, I'm not, I really don't care that much. Like some people are in one camp or the other. Um, to me, I just like to have a nice doll. And, you know, I know some people find it creepy if their eyes don't shut at all. I don't care if they have pretty eyes and I like the doll. It really doesn't matter to me if their eyes are fixed or not. So this packaging is very similar. I'm noticing to the My Life doll. They have the same like rubber bands at the top. Um, they have ties at the bottom. There's one around her neck, which this one is a lot more involved than the My Life doll. I feel like she's packaged up a little bit more securely. Oh, and then there's even more around her boots. So I've got to get these ties from around her boots. These boots are the cutest. Oh my goodness, I love these boots. I just want this outfit. Siobhan, can you and I just have matching outfits because this outfit is so cute. Okay. And it says just play LLC. Okay. So that is, I don't know if that's the manufacturer or see, I read what I read was that like Amazon got the rights. I don't know if that means Amazon manufactures them or just sells them. So maybe Amazon just sells them and Just Play is the company that actually manufactures them. I don't know how all that works, but um, anyways, you can buy them on Amazon. So if you're looking for one and you're bummed out that you can't buy them at Toys R Us, you can buy them on Amazon. And I think I saw them on Walmart.com too. All right, girls, still got some packaging here. All right, so first impressions, um, she's gorgeous. Like, she has 
really beautiful eyes. Okay. And it looks like just, just by looking at them, I believe they are poured acrylic. Um, but can you see the detail? Barely because my camera's bad, but can you see the detail? She has gorgeous eyes. They're so gorgeous. So I believe how they do these eyes is there's like a print of the iris on like a piece of paper on the back or not a piece of paper, but there's something there's like the print of the eye with all the details and then they pour the clear acrylic over that. Um, she has these gorgeous lashes. I much prefer these eyebrows to the My Life eyebrows. Um, so I'm sorry she's pantsless for some reason. But these were the, this is the My Life eyebrow. This is the Journey Girl eyebrow. I don't really like that whole thin, far apart look. Um, I think this is much more aesthetically pleasing. They both have the very like doe eyes, big wide eyes big luscious lips like they both have that kind of going on um outfit wise I've got to give it to journey girls like this outfit is uh, adorable I love it so she's got like these cute little jeggings with these rain boots that have like little red tulips she's got this little rain cape like it's a rain jacket material but it's a cape which is like so cute and I'll figure out how to get it off it's a little tie there um make sure I'm not going okay and then she just has a white little scoop neck top underneath okay I kind of get what they were saying about the proportions um so yeah her arms are very small and thin her legs like lengthwise look fine, but yeah, torso is very thin. Arms are very almost kind of short and thin. And then her head is quite large proportionally. So I'm not sure why they did it that way. They were, I guess, just trying to do something different. So, um, but she definitely like, as far as looks, she's taking a lot of boxes. Um, so I'm going to take her hair out of these bands right now so that I can look at it while it's down. So I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so I took her hair out and I've got my brush. So I'm going to see if any of it, if there's any fallout. I'm looking for tangling I'm looking for if you know because this is also rooted hair I should say just like the my life dolls um I'm looking for you know perhaps they weren't put in very well and they just kind of fall out I'm looking for how well it brushes because you know kids are going to be brushing the hair okay we do have a little bit of of fallout yeah it definitely losing some not bad though not bad just just a little bit and it could just be the thickness of her hair too um okay i am i am getting some coming out which isn't great yeah so see that that's not great so a little bit of fallout with the hair um, but hair wise, like looks wise, um, it is gorgeous. It is very shiny. It's very soft. Like, let me, so very similar to the My Life doll. Actually, they might use the same kind of hair. Um, they're both rooted. So her hair is very, very soft. It's very, very silky. Um, a little bit of fallout with the brushing, not a huge deal. Um, as far as styling it, I feel like you could easily style this hair. 
Um, I think that the roots are better on this doll. Um, I'm looking through because remember on the My Life doll, there was just like a couple of random large bald spots. And I'm seeing that it looks like, at least from what I can see, they're fairly evenly spaced. So I'm not seeing like some obvious bald spots. Like you can definitely see where the scalp is, but I don't think it's as bad. Um, Okay, let's look at articulation. So let's take her clothes off. Interesting. This body like shape proportion is not my favorite. It's almost too cartoony. So you remember I was talking about how, you know, they make the, the eyes very big. It's almost like cartoonish. I feel like the Journey Girls have almost done they've gone too much towards the cartoon to where they don't look like real people anymore um like their faces definitely kind of well I don't know I'm so torn <laughs> so again just like the my life they've got the half cloth and the half plastic vinyl um Forward and backward, there is no outward articulation. Oh! Hang on. Weird, okay. So the arms have a tiny bit of outward articulation. Tiny bit. Like not all the way and not all the way around. Well, maybe it is all the way around. But it's not all the way, so I don't think it's a ball joint. But it definitely is more than what you got on the My Life and the um, Our Generation doll. So they can come out a little bit, which is nice. Nice for posing. I don't know why they make it stop there, though. I wish they came out just a little bit further. But hey, you know, it's a little bit more articulation than you have with the other dolls, so I'll take it. The legs again, so let's see if she will stand. I've got a box here. Some solid surface. And let's see if she'll stand. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Okay, so she is, in fact, standing. That's good. Um, and she's standing barefoot. These feet kind of weird me out. They're so, like, is that weird to you? They're so, like, tiny and defined. <laughs> I don't know why they made her, why did they make her feet and her hands so small and her head so big? I don't know. It's not my thing. Um, like, she's beautiful and I, I think she's gorgeous, but the proportions are a little strange and it's just not my cup of tea. But I do think that if I was a little girl that I would be very happy with this doll um, her head, oh, interesting, okay, so her head can actually go, like, she can look up, that's kind of neat, and even the American girls have that articulation, where they can, like, tilt their head down or up, so that's kind of nice, you could get some really cute photos, you know, like that, and then it does swivel side to side. Um, I'm not sure how it's fastened in there. I think it's similar to the My Life doll. Um, and I'm not going to bother with it because I have a feeling once I take the head off, the head is not going back on. So, huh. Hmm. It's my first real experience with a Journey Girl. Um, 
I don't know how much they've changed over the years. They've obviously been out for a while. Um, I, hmm, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and she comes with a little purse. Little tote that said it's got a C on it for Siobhan. Cute. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna put her clothes back on and I'm just gonna think, 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 think. So, hmm, compared to the My Life dolls, um, so what's different about them? Well, uh, the My, My Life dolls have the sleep eyes, so they close and open. These are fixed eyes, meaning they don't move, um, whether she's laying down or not, they're just fixed. Um, they're proportionally a little bit different. I think that Journey Girl's head might be slightly bigger and her body has some more extreme proportions. Um, her torso is quite small and her limbs are quite thin. Um, her height is fine. I don't know. She's the same, about the same height as the My Life doll. Um, quality wise, um, I would say very similar to the My Life doll. Very similar, maybe just the teensiest bit better quality. Um, I don't know if it's $10 more quality, but I think, you know, I paid $34 for her and I, I think I got a good price. I think that's a good price for this doll. I think it's, it's right on the money, so to say. I wouldn't, I feel like if I paid more than $35, I might be getting a bad deal, if that makes any sense. Um, definitely the outfit is a huge, huge plus. I love that she comes with a name. I love that she comes with this cute little story, this little bio of like who she is and what she likes. I, I think that gives them character. I personally like that. Whereas, you know, the My Life dolls just sort of come with generic, like I'm a unicorn trainer and, and, or I'm a Hello Kitty girl. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, Outfits gets 10 out of 10. Like this outfit is adorable and it looks very striking on her. Like if I saw her on a shelf, I would instantly be drawn to her. So she's definitely very, very pretty. Um, and her outfit is gorgeous. Again, can't get enough of these cute little rain boots. So I'll have to kind of wait and see, you know, as I review more of these dolls, which ones I think are the best. But for right now, you know, I'm definitely, I definitely think that both of these dolls are priced appropriately. Um, I would not pay more than $24 for the My Life doll, and I would not pay more than $34 for the journey girl. I think that they, you know, quality wise, there's not like, they're not high quality, but then again, they weren't really designed to be, you know, they are very pretty. And I think, you know, if I was a little girl, I would just,